We've been told our whole life to wash our hands and to avoid bad bacteria, but the thought of coming into contact with a deadly strain of bacteria while enjoying a day in the water was never something that Henry Konitsky expected. A man fishing for crabs in central Florida suddenly died due to a saltwater bacteria known as Vibrio vulnificus. 59-year-old Henry Konetsky died within a day and a half after being infected. Once in the body, this bacteria can travel very quickly, shutting down the liver and kidneys. According to health officials, the bacteria, which is very resistant to antibiotics, has already been linked to 10 deaths this year in Florida alone. Henry's family is now fighting for signs to be posted near affected areas to prevent further tragedies. We're now joined by Henry's wife, Patty, and, her, and his daughter, Sheila. Can you tell us what happened that day that, that your husband and your dad was Loved the water, spent his life in the water. But something different happened that day. We went crabbing three weeks ago. We came home that night, everything seemed to be fine, and in the morning he woke up with this lesion on his ankle. We thought it was a spider bite, and so we just decided to watch it that day. And finally, it just kept getting worse, and so we finally took him to the emergency room they realized almost immediately what it was. And they admitted him to ICU. And just as the almost minutes went by, you could, you could literally watch this growing on him. Those same lesions that you see there were getting bigger and more of them. Thank you. So water that all three of you have been in thousands, uh, uh, of times. thousands of times. And had you ever heard of this particular bacteria? Never. Never, never. And we're all born and raised in Florida, so that's what was so devastating about this because he had done it a million times and we've all done it. She was there with him that day in the same water. And if there is any blessing here, it's that it's not so well known because this luckily is still relatively rare but very important to talk about.